Listen, man, Femi, we're here to talk to y'all about something real. We finished the gym sesh. Important. Femi. It was great. We learned how to get to no bitches. We learned how to get to no Nah, let's get, let's, get, let's get serious. But What's up, YouTube? Main, the main thing. This basically going to be the outro. outro. Mm-hmm. Alright. Should I you start it? Start. Yo, bro. I feel mad black, man. Now I'm blacky chan. Damn, God damn, God bless America. Damn, eh? What's good, YouTube? Eh? Yeah. Change the shit. Not gonna lie. So, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna explain how the gym has changed life for me, and then you explain how it changed life for you. So, if y'all don't know, I was 239 pounds. I was a fat bastard. God damn. God damn. I'm talking titties hanging, yeah, you remember stomach that? hanging. You know that video of Kevin Hart, he's talking to like that, um, that actor. He was like, how old are you? He was like, like 56. He was like, damn! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that shit. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I was, I was really fat for me. And I, I didn't think there was nothing wrong with it because, you know, I was chilling. I was just doing whatever I wanted and shit, living my life. Nah, yeah, everybody gets up That's what I'm saying. Down. And then girls started flicking my titties. People started calling me fat and all of that. And I, I wouldn't say I was getting bullied, but it was making me feel some type of way. So then one day I just got up and I started going to the gym for like a consistent four months and going. And yeah, like for me now, everybody who was calling me fat, they in my DMs now asking to get trained. Now people ask me what my workout routine is. Now people, everybody. Well, how, how has that like changed your life like in a humbling it way? It just goes to show you that, bro, people people don't support you until you actually get that shit done. This is really. what I always say. People love to see results. Word. Nobody, he, nobody, nobody loves you, the journey. Like There's nobody be, loves the journey. It's going to be one person out of. 10 who's always gonna support you and watch you through your journey but majority they not gonna be like they just gonna watch you they not gonna like it and shit and then the moment you just pop out looking completely different looking uh, fucking swole that's when everybody's like yo i'm proud of you i'm proud of this one where was that when i needed that where was that when i was struggling to do cardio struggling to maintain my diet what was that before i even had motivation to go to the gym none of that was there for me so it just goes to show bro that People really won't support you until you really get stuff done and you really show people you can do that shit without no type of love. So, that, that's how it changed me. Like, now, I'm only rocking with the people who saw potential in me when I was fat. The people who told me, yo, if you go to the gym, bro, shit, you, you'll really look different, feel me? And, the, and my boy Vic, feel me? We met in the gym. That's the crazy part. My boy wanna be asking me if I take creatine. Like, yeah. yo, I ain't gonna lie. That week I met son. Like, I met Kyle. Like, y'all wanted to fucking like almost punch him. Cause like, <laughs> at that week, like the amount of people that were telling me, you take creatine, you take creatine. That shit was like so annoying. Nah, yeah. But it goes to show you, like, it really goes to show you what you're like capable of once you really lock in and focus in. Not mm -hmm. a lot of you. Like me personally, when I locked in, it was not gonna lie to you. Five months ago? Five months ago? I was already hitting the gym for like a good consistent like, really like five months. Mm -hmm. But I started off, like a lot of people don't notice. I started with a big crowd. Like I started off with like a good five heads. Mind mm -hmm. you, over time people was, yo bro, like gym today, really again, like we could chill, like yo bro, gym again, like. And then just over time people just started falling off little by little. And so I was literally the last one. Mind you, I started alone though. Like I started alone, and they people came up, came up with me because they saw that I was getting mm -hmm. literally like a little bit thicker. Like I was mm -hmm. getting brolic. Boom. Over time, I was and I ended up by myself. Like I was like, yo, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna depend on nobody to see self development because at the end of the day, I'm doing this shit for myself. Word. Like that's what you, that's that mindset you gotta have. You half of the shit you do in life is for yourself. That's a fact. Feel me? Your friends not gonna always want to do everything with you. Yeah, like you know I mean? this day that I be telling Kyle, I be wanting to tell Kyle like, oh yo, bro, let's just chill today. Let's skip the gym. Nah, like I feel like the gym is something that doesn't. It's not only for your like your health, but like, it also helps with your mental. mental. I know that's just sound corny. Like I know you probably. Nah, like, yeah. You feel me? But it's really like deep down, like you really think about it. Yo, like when you do shit alone, it helps you. Not even the gym. Like even in real life. Yeah, like even even if you go like let's say to the movie by yourself, a lot of people can't do that shit. A lot of people exactly. can't do things by themselves because they're so used to being cooped up with people being or like doing shit with people. In a large crowd. They're unable to be by this house. But over time I just literally locked in. I started eating good. Started eating literally rice and chicken. I was that uh, the point that I was eating so much I was like I was like, tired of that shit, like like I was really tired of that shit. Nah, yeah. Then I started investing into other shit. Protein, creatine, BCAAs. A whole bunch of stuff. If you're really putting your time in it, why not put your money in it too? You feel me? What's your opinion on how the gym affects like your relationship status? 
like, like, towards, like how you move towards females and stuff. Now I ain't gonna lie to you, there's been a lot of people that are gonna tell you like, obviously it's gonna get your confidence up. Like mm -hmm. I'm I'm a guy like I have confidence. I just don't show it like the like, car thinks I have no ribs for some reason. <laughs> but personally, like I like all oh, seriousness, your confidence does goes up. But I'm not gonna say just cause you get brolic or just cause you get lean, just cause you get skinny, you're gonna be getting females or whatever. It all has to do with you. Cause you can really be the fattest guy in the world and it all has to do with your confidence. And it all depends how you talk to a girl. Like deep down I've seen like people that I would look at I'll be like, yo, how the fuck does this nigga get bitches? So, you know what I mean? So but, question, right? Oh you confidence. I mean? So um you see how some people will simp over girls and stuff, like get them whatever they want. If they even if the girls run, they'll apologize and stuff like that. You do you feel like you do you feel like the gym helps you understand your self worth? Yeah. As a person? Hell yeah. Not only the gym though, like that's small, like, me personally, I learned to pick shit up like that, like, on my own, like, mm -hmm. like, recently at the gym, one is, that's one of the best things that's gonna help you, like, working on yourself in general is gonna help you find your self-confidence, find your self-worth, like, know your own worth, this goes for females and males, like, know what you're worth, if you're fucking with somebody that's literally the most toxic person for you, get away from that, nah, we're... like, find, find yourself in a place that you literally find inner peace being by yourself. Or whatever you find it, whatever you think is inner peace for for you, just find that. Chase what you think is inner peace, like. But don't do it in a toxic manner, like. Feel mm -hmm. me? I try to do everything in my way and not affect the next person. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like when I do shit, like you ever see me in the gym and I like I ask somebody something like a question or something. Mm -hmm. I try to do it like in a yo, I'm excuse me, like ah, uh, you doing this? Or, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be a toxic nigga, like yo, what you doing? Like you done? <laughs> so the last question. How do you deal with body dysmorphia in the gym? You can't. You can't? I mean, you can, but you can't. Me, you personally, mean? over time, I got better with it. Like, when I first started, it was like, damn, Vic, you fucking fat. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would really, like, like, I would really be chilling, look in the mirror, Vic, you're fucking fat. Over time, I started getting cut up. Like, you remember that day we made that back video on my mm -hmm. back? And I was like, oh, shit, I really dig nah, it a little. Yeah. It's, it's those days where you're like, damn, I do look different. Because right? something you're going to notice is... People see your progress before you see your own progress yeah, sometimes. Yeah, because you see yourself every day, so you don't really yeah. see it. If you bring yourself down, you keep bringing yourself down, you're not going to see your own progress because you're just so yeah. locked in on whatever you're doing that you're not really going to focus on that. But and there's a lot of haters on TikTok. You could you could really be making progress, and there's always going to be that one person who's still going to call you fat or still going to call you skinny. So just know, for me, if you got body dysmorphia and then you see comments like that, let that shit push you, like, let yeah, that shit like, motivate you. let that shit you. make you, like, yeah, now I gotta really be the biggest person. Cause I done, I, I basically done, done been in all aspects of my life. Like, I've been fat, I've been skinny. Now I'm brolic, somewhat. But, don't let none of, what none of these people got to say bother you, like. All that shit they gonna say, not gonna lie to you, it do not matter in the next five minutes. That is true. Think about it like this. If I say you fat, what does that, what is, what is that gonna do to you in the next five minutes? You gonna be upset. Not gonna change nothing. You, you gonna be upset for, like, a certain amount of time, but... But what is that physically gonna do to you? Nothing. You gotta think about it like that. Lock in, see your goals through, accomplish them. Make new goals, accomplish them goals too. And so you can't accomplish no more goals. Not only in the gym, but also outside the gym. That is true. Boom. But without further ado, if you guys want more videos like this where we sit down and talk to y'all, for me, if you guys are enjoying the workout content, if you guys have specific videos y'all wanna see, let us know. We do got something coming up soon though. Y'all well, well. might really enjoy it. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. We I might be. Yeah, we gonna really be consistent <laughs> on this me. channel. I mean, by the, by the summer we need at least fifteen hundred, or maybe even yeah. fifteen thousand. You feel me? Yeah. If we consistent with this, who knows? Just where it show could take us that. love, and we are gonna show love back. You feel mm -hmm. me? But without further ado, it's your boy Kai. You feel me? And it's your boy Vic. Just End of the video. Just run. Boom. Oh.